It has been 50 years since a wave of liberation swept through Africa and many states won their independence. Then and now, Africa is far too often judged only in terms of its corruption, poverty, conflict, hunger or disease. But Africa's story is not just one of despair, but also one of achievement, freedom and ingenuity. This is what makes Africa everything it is and everything it can be. Far too seldom do we look at Africa through a positive lens. Far too rarely do we hear undiluted voices from Africa. This is the issue that lies at the heart of Letters to Juba. In July last year, South Sudan officially gained its independence and became the world's youngest state. As its people embark on the long journey toward development, they hope to avoid many of the same pitfalls that led to underdevelopment in other African countries. We are traveling from Cape Town to Juba, South Sudan's capital, en route passing through nine countries. In each, we will engage as many people as we can, artists, students, farmers, anyone. We will ask them what they feel is important for development in their country, what worked and what didn't. What messages of support or words of advice do they have to offer to the people of South Sudan? People of South Sudan, be sure if you utilize your force, your energy, you will see that your country will advance. We have to be free. It's our right. It's our right. Sudan is here, we say. New country, new life, great expectations. Freedom is not really uh, a place that you arrive at and then you finish it's a process la paix est la base fondamentale du développement d'un pays demand information from policy makers treat everyone equal the youth are the future political education i think is the most important thing women are the backbone of society power to the people power to the people la ne kula kula na ngense soyez ouverts Travailler dur et l'Afrique ira de l'avant. And the hard work starts now. I wish you guys all the best. The people of Uganda are with you. I believe in you, South Sudan, and you're in my prayers. So go sit, South Sudan. Let us Juba aims to be more than just a platform. Its goal is to have a tangible impact in South Sudan. We will use the diverse ideas gathered as a source of inspiration to the youth of the country and help them start at least five innovative grassroots projects. Get involved with Letters to Juba by sending a letter or a message of support to the people of South Sudan, by helping to sponsor a youth-led initiative, or by just spreading the word. Together, our voices will be heard.